In the far west lies one of the harshest environments in the state of New Austin. Few can call this place a home, yet it doesn't stop many trying. Settlements have come, and settlements have gone. Yet still some things find a way to survive, whereas others don't. There's still mysteries here in these lands for those who seek them. So join me now as we explore Gap to Bridge in the world of Red Dead. Gap Toot Ridge is located in the furthest west region of New Austin. To the northeast you have Cola Springs, and to the southeast you have Rio Bravo as its border. The San Luis River creates a border in the southern region, separating it from the Nuevo Paraíso. Gap Toot Ridge is most likely based off the Mojave Desert, which occupies eastern California and Nevada, as well as small parts of Arizona and Utah. This is due to the strong presence of Joshua trees, as well as the rocky terrain you can see throughout the area. This is the only region in the game that you'll find the plant Desert Stage growing. This land is also home to various animals, from horses trying to stay cool in the desert sun, to raccoons and skunk foraging the arid terrains. You'll find pronghards grazing, all the while keeping watch for some of the predators in the area, such as packs of wolves who roam looking for prey. At night you will find a host of other animals on the prowl, from armadillos to badgers, to coyotes scavenging for food. This area is also the home for the legendary cougar. What makes this cougar so unique is its thick black fur. It is a carnivore with a variety of prey, including goats, deer, and local lions. One of the more historic settlements that have been part of Gaptoo Ridge is Tumpweed. We get to see the town as they decline in Red Dead Redemption 2, which takes place between 1899 and 1907. As the main settlement in Gaptoo Ridge, Tumbleweed had a saloon, general store, butcher, gunsmith, a stable and a sheriff's office and jail. On the hill overlooking the settlement is a mansion. The ground surrounding the mansion hosts a small stable and gazebo. Located in the far east of the town is a small, one-room church. Surrounding this church is a small cemetery where you'll find the final resting spots for the notorious highwayman, Henry Crenshaw, as well as Abe Shackleford, who was so drunk he did not remember dying. There's also an assay office located in Tumbleweed. An assay office is a place where precious metals receive a mark of their purity, which suggests that Tumbleweed was a mining town set up the service Gaptoo Bridge before it went bust. It's not known exactly when Tumbleweed became a ghost town, but at some point between 1907 and 1911. There are different theories to how it became a ghost town, but the most obvious is the introduction of the railroad. When they introduced the railroad into New Austin, they bypassed Tumbleweed, resulting in many settlers relocating in search of new prospects. Another cause may have been the local gangs proving too much for the local law enforcement. The Deloba gang was notorious in this area. When we look at the remains of Tumbleweed, we can see that the jail cell and the sheriff's office are some of the more damaged buildings. Of course, some folks will tell you that the real reason Tumbleweed is abandoned is because Tumbleweed is haunted. Some have claimed that they've heard voices in the abandoned mansion late at night, with strange figures appearing in the top windows. Also, carved into the podium on the church's altar is the phrase, the devil has got into that beast. Although many like to live in settlements, some prefer the isolation to help focus on their work. To the northeast of Tumbleweed, you will briefly discover the Alchemist House. Most won't get a good look at this building, because when you approach it in single player, it will explode. Posted in the Blackwater Ledger, number 64, we learn of Anthony, a reclusive alchemist who lives in a small cabin on the border between Chola Springs and Gaptu Ridge, and he is close to perfecting the ability to change to any base metal, such as copper, earthen, and the gold. Unfortunately, after the explosion, all that remains are the charred ashes and the lockbox containing high-velocity cartridges, 
as well as an explosive slug pamphlet. In the far north of Gap 2 Ridge is Rathskeller Fork. During the period of Red Dead Redemption 2, this is private property. We learned from the Blackwater Ledger that Rathskeller Fork used to be a bustling place where travellers would stop and goods were traded. The area now is covered in dust and decay, with windows broken, and the place filled up with vermin, which makes this place the ideal spot for birds of prey who hang around the area. Many blame the disrepair of the settlement to the current caretaker, who doesn't take kindly to outsiders. Thankfully, as the years go on, we discover that Rathskeller Fork becomes a bustling traveler's inn again, with a saloon where people like to play blackjack, as well as a brothel and a stable block where you can play horseshoes. Traveling south, you will find Silent Steed. This is just a single, small wooden house with an animal pen around back. You will find a scrap to complete the Treasure Hunter gang outfit here in Red Dead Redemption 1, which may suggest that this is a house for my gang member. Just south of this, dug into the cliffside, is a place called Cueva Seca, which is Spanish for Dry Cave. Gap 2 Breach is a small rural mining settlement with a large mine. It is mostly made up of tents to house resident miners and treasure hunters. However, it appears that the mine has more interest from local gangs than miners, with many outlaws choosing to hide out there, including Barbarella Alcazar and Esteban Cortes. In later years, this area became the home for the treasure hunter gang. Although the treasure hunter gang also has legitimate businesses, they can also be seen terrorizing the area with stagecoach robberies and lynchings. They seem to be a gang with low morals and poor hygiene, whose headquarters are in Gaptu Breach. Gaptu Ridge region has always been troubled with gangs of outlaws. During the Red Dead Redemption 2 period, the Del Dobo gang terrorized the region. This gang, in several respects, resembles the real life Five Watkins gang. Sheriff Freeman is most likely the reason that they didn't get a foothold in Tumbleweed, but by 1911 there seems to be no trace of this gang, either from being wiped out or just disbanded. A abandoned farm called Solomon's Folly is another prominent gang hideout in Red Dead Redemption 1 and Red Dead Redemption 2. Although by 1911 the Treasure Hunter gang had control over most of the region, Solomon's Folly fell under the hands of the Walton gang a gang who primarily operated in Chola Springs. Hidden in the south is a strange building called the Scratching Post. Not much is known about this building, but it seems to be a trader's stop-off and has a strange structure in the back. By the events of RDR1, it seems to be more abandoned and the structure has gone. There is a lot of beauty here in the south of Gaptu Ridge, with breathtaking views of the Sea of Coronando as well as the San Luis River. Though it won't take you long to find evidence on just how treacherous this terrain actually is. Hanging from the mountain is the body of a failed explorer. If you shoot the corpse and loot the body, you will find an Elemental Trail Treasure Hunter map. On a small hill just north of the Sea of Coronando, you may also come across the remains of a Jesuit missionary named Rodolfo. He had become disillusioned with the Catholic Church and decided to travel east. It is a mystery what happened to him, as it is also a mystery why Roxar have a version of Arthur's sketch of this remains, but Arthur can never travel here. So I hope you enjoyed this guide to Gatu Ridge. Hopefully we will get to see the area of Aldmore and Red Dead Online. If you want me to cover more areas or lore, just let me know in the comments, and together we will discover the world of Red Dead.